Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to take a baby step and look at how to deserialize AdventureWorks. We're starting off with the easiest table. Notice on line 10 and 16, I have two class objects that do the same thing, but on line 13, I'm solving it using arrays. On line 19, I'm using list. Before I showed you this JSON, I actually generated this with a serializer and I used it on both notations, arrays and list. Both of them produced array notation for department. Here is the source code to solve this problem. Notice I have my file name out to sample.json. Let's look at that. And notice we have sample data. We have a version. We have department with an array of objects. I'm then going to read that file in, put it into a variable, and then notice on line 24 and 27, I have two different class objects. I have one that uses an array of department. The other one uses a list of department. Let's show you that. So a list of department and an array of department. We will then compare the two variables. Let us run this program. I'll meet you at line 30. The program has been executed. Let's look at the watch. So you understand what we're looking at. On line 23, departments array, I'll be showing you the data that's in that, and departments list, I'll be showing you that as well. Let's open these up. Department was just a simple class object that had several key fields. Notice that each of these objects have the same. So the only thing that's really different about this app is line 13, list department versus array implementation. And notice that our JSON is an array of objects of type department. And there you have it, team.